Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today I wanted to do an update on my vitiligo journey. So as I've said in other videos, I've had vitiligo since I was 10, 12, something like that. Um, and it never really went away. I can take this photo from just a few years ago. I believe this was 2018 or 2019. And uh, you can see, so I don't really have great before photos, unfortunately. So, um, but you can see from this that basically it was, um, pretty large patch on my wrist, certainly very visible. Um, and then there are these that were actually also visible on my, on my legs. It was on both legs. I also had it on my elbows. Um, and again, so, so in the beginning I did lots of things, um, to try and control it, including light therapy, skin creams, uh, steroids, et cetera, et cetera. Nothing seemed to work. And so at a certain point I just lost interest and, and carried about on about my business. Over the years, it more or less stayed kind of similar. It was it was one of those things where it would move, like the exact position of it would move. And this patch on my wrist was fairly recent. I think that was like 2012 or 2013 that it came. So it was spreading, but it wasn't, as long as it wasn't on my face, I wasn't too concerned. But then I did see a patch on my face at a certain point, and that made me get quite concerned. A little spot on my face that would have gotten worse if I had let it. So that's when I really got serious about reversing my vitiligo. I've made videos about it elsewhere. The main thing that seemed to work was changing my diet, getting rid of the carbs, first of all, and then eventually getting rid of the plant toxins as well, or most of them. I'm not 100% carnivore myself, um, but I'm mostly meat-oriented diet seems to have done about 90% of the work. Um, what's changed in the last year, or actually in the last just few months, is that I've stopped, um, you know, I've started taking um, a certain kind of supplement, uh, which you can also purchase, the link is down below, which enhances the body's production of stem cells, adult stem cells. Now, why do we need stem cells? When I was researching on this, actually, I found that there was a whole um, therapy, stem cell therapy for vitiligo. And what people are hypothesizing is that if you give the body stem cells, um, it can basically heal itself better. I would say you can't just give the body stem cells. You also need to actually change your habits, change your diet, etc. But you know, it's it's something, if you can't do 100% of the dietary changes, this is, maybe this is something to add that will help. This is the latest photos just from, I took these, I think, um, last week or a couple of weeks ago. You can see that it, it doesn't, it's not very visible is what I'm trying to say. So in the elbow, maybe there's a little bit there. This elbow is completely gone. This used to have patches. It doesn't have any. That's the same wrist that you saw in the previous image that was all white. Um, if I walked into a doctor's office with this, they would not diagnose me with vitiligo. There's no way, right? Because it just looks like maybe a slight discoloration. And the same for the legs. The legs, um, maybe this leg is still a little bit bad. You see, I have uh, some other issues there. Those are eczema scars that are healing uh, from a different issue, which was eczema. There was, this patch on my knee is much better than it used to be. And the other leg is barely visible. You can't really tell that it's there. Okay, so um, in understanding my own situation um what i've decided to do and i've written a blog about this is to understand vitiligo and thereby autoimmune in a little bit more detail so i would urge you to go check out my website samirdasani.net it's there in the corner you can click on the blog page and you'll see that the latest blog vitiligo ketosis in me so so i i'm using my own story as kind of a hook for this but it's not just about my story here it's it's really about what are the four pathways by which vitiligo manifests itself and how can we begin to address those? Mostly addressing diet, although I do get a little bit to stem cells in the end there. I think I'm going to make a separate um, blog post just on the role of stem cell therapy in vitiligo and other autoimmune. So uh, those are some thoughts for today. Um, let me know, how's it going in your vitiligo journey? I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you in the next one.